I'm working with Sam to find my own path, but I think still, still keep true to some of the things that uh, Judy's um, established, the sort of toughness and the kind of quality of ruthlessness. I think they're, they're good things to keep in play. So I love the way Sam works. He really is interested in character. So we're not just ciphers inherited from a successful franchise. I think backstory, character traits, quirky little aspects of people. I think he's interested in what's going on inside people's heads. And at the same time, balancing out with all the things the fans expect. Great chases, action, great girls. Ian Fleming tapped into sort of some male hero figure. Lots of it now possibly politically incorrect. I mean, very sexist at the time. <laughs> lots of violence and things, but I think an element of humour and wit that the films gave Bond, possibly more than the books, so there's a sort of lightness of touch, so that there was a sort of like tongue, the, the tongue in cheek, and I think Roger Moore's Bond capitalised on that tongue in cheek thing. And I think that Daniel has, though, has earthed Bond back into something very gritty and real, which I think reflects maybe our times of, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the six, late 60s, 70s was probably more, possibly a more benign time globally than the, where we are now. I don't know, maybe it's. Um, but uh, anyway, I think Daniel's a great Bond, I and mean, I, I always loved this sort of real, the believability of that he was a, a, a frontline field agent capable of the fisticuffs and all that. That was a, very convincing. Um, but I think Sam brings his intelligence, and Sam has a sense of humour.